Using tens for pain, the conventional tens setup. This is a video to show how to use a tens unit for chronic pain problems. We're using the tens 3000, which is a very manual tens unit, very easy to use. I have a channel one set up into the top of the tens right there, and a channel two set up into the top of that tens again. I've labeled them and now I'm going to follow the cords so that you can see how I've surrounded the pair area of pain of my knee. There's the channel 2 and that comes down and here's the other channel 2. So I've set it up in a criss cross pattern. That's also sometimes called interferential but don't confuse that with the medium frequency interferential. The word interferential means to have two interfering um, te uh, electrical conductions. So over here I have channel 1, and I have a channel 1. Now I could have done, put the channel 1 on one side and put the channel on the other side. That's called a bipolar setup. Sometimes people only use one channel. I'm using, of course, the two, so I can take advantage. Again, this is a very easy unit. It costs about 34 or $5 to the doctor. And you can see that the little window comes right on off, and it's going to use an energizer battery right here, any 9-volt battery. I'll just move this over here for now. Comes in a little carrying case, how handy. Then the next thing is I'm just going to be turning the different dials and I need to make sure I turn them correctly. So when I'm working on a normal person's, just a normal conventional TENS, I want this to be on not B for burst, which is like comes on very quickly. The mode should be on N for normal. Some of the machines will say C for continuous and I don't want it on M for modulation. Every TENS unit has a different modulation and you have to read the instruction manual to find out what that is. Over here, the pulse width is how long will the pulse be on? So the pulse width or pulse duration or pulse phase, if you can see that word right here in this button right there, should be on a short amount of time in the beginning so as to not hurt the person. So we have this set right here to about 40, between 30 and 80. And if you can go all the way up to a pulse width of about 75 when you're using conventional tens. The longer the pulse width, though, kind of the longer the hand is on the hot stove. So it's not very comfortable. So you want to start short pulse width. Over here, I have a timer. I can set it for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or continuous. Tens can be used nonstop pretty much. Um, that just covers the pain, so it's really ha handy that way. Got my 9 volt battery in there. And then over here, the pulse range should be set to around anywhere between 50 and 100, and I like the magic number 100, so I'm going to go somewhere between this 70 and 120 right here. So somewhere above 70 is what I want. There we go. Now I'm going to turn on channel number one first. And this, I'm going to start feeling it. The intensity limit, and I know it's on because the light turned on. The intensity limit should be no more than 30. So right here is the notch. So 1, 2, 3, and that's a times 10. So it's a multiplier. So right here at 30 is the maximum. And I barely feel it. If I go above it, I feel it now. So if I'm right there, I can barely feel it. So that's actually a good setting for me. Over here, I'm going to bring this up again. Make sure the light goes on. And I don't feel it until about 3.5. So I'm going to put that one to 3. Now I'm going to bring both of these down at just a smidge. And I'm going to come down here and increase the sensation in my knee. And you don't see any contractions or anything. I just feel a, I tell my patients it feels like a little tingly feeling. Um, it's kind of a stingy, prickly, tingly feeling. And if you're in pain and you have rubbing that, that area, you sometimes make that area not hurt so that Pricking, prickling, stinging feeling is a good thing because that area of pain stops hurting so much. Your brain has a kind of a dis discommunication. Yeah, I don't know if it's a discommunication or if it's just turned off communication. And then the last thing is I'm going to re increase my pulse width here. And now it's much more intense. And I've gone, oh, gone past the 80. So I'm supposed to go to about 75. And again, the maximum intensity we're conventional should be about 30. Now you do want to get it so they just feel it, barely feel the prickling. I have not figured out who can feel better. 
I don't know if it's people uh, who are sensitive who cry at all movies feel better or if it's uh, guys or gals it's just person to person so make sure that you um, set it so it doesn't hurt them you're not looking for a contraction